sailing down a canal into the anchorage at night. So we took her to the emergency room and it turns out she has pneumonia. Hurricane Irma. Here we are at this marina. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a hurricane damaged Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? After one of our toughest sails yet to Cayman Islands, we finally made it to the dock to Claire and at Georgetown. So we're all cleared in at Georgetown, Cayman Islands. It was really simple. Um, they wanted to do a little customs check around the boat, so they just walked around looking for spare guns and drugs and stuff and didn't find anything, so we're all clear. Um, it was free to clear in which is awesome. The only thing is that they want us to report to them every single time we move the boat. And they also told us that the dogs aren't allowed off the boat, so Marty and McFly have to have a week on the boat, unfortunately. But uh, we'll make sure we play with them lots. <laughs> Immigration had right about who was the crazy one though. <laughs> I got the blame, I didn't even talk in there. She, she just, just pointed at me and she's like, and you're the wild one. <laughs> Charge is just as bad. <laughs> Morning guys, so we're going to leave the uh... So we stayed on the mooring. So we, so we stayed on the mooring ball here in Georgetown last night. They're free. It's a really nice anchorage in anything except a north or a westerly wind. So it's on the west side of uh, Cayman Islands here, called Grand Cayman. It's a cool little place to start out after you clear in. And now we're going to go dive a wreck called the Kitty Wake, which our friend recommended. It starts at 8 metres and goes down from there, so Jamie might not be able to see it, but uh, the rest of us should. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie worked his arms and shoulders. <laughs> He's gonna grab this mooring ball. You see there's like 50 people in the water. That's the kitty wank wreck. Look at all those tourists. It's gonna be us in about five minutes. Unreal, honestly. It's a 75 meter US Navy ship that sank in 2011. The water clarity was unreal. Hey, River. Oh, beautiful. 
We're just coming into Governor's Creek. There's this little uh, estuary that comes in and then it should open up into a bay. I can see some sailboats in there. But check out these houses. Coming here. Oh yeah. Coming from Mexico. Woo. Oh, it's a rough one. So this is our mate Alan. We met him in uh, Rio Dulce. He's from New Zealand as well. Woo. And uh, he lives here in Cayman Islands. He's an architect and uh, lives on his boat here. So uh, there's actually surf. Where are we going? Uh, it's called South Sound. Sort of like a left reef point road. Yeah, it's sick. We're gonna go check that out this morning and hopefully get some waves. There's waves! Who would have thought? Cayman Islands. Sets coming through, super clean. Man, did not expect this. This is epic. <laughs> ah! How's this? The swell's coming in from the northwest, or so. North northwest. Yeah. And it's washed a couple of containers off the wharf into the ocean here. So today we're going to go diving. We got about uh, 14 tanks on board and uh, we're taking a few friends out. We're going to check the weather. It's quite windy today so we're going to find somewhere nice and sheltered. But the diving here is meant to be unbelievable so everyone's pretty excited. So we'll see what we can find and hopefully get some good diving done and hang out with some friends. taking a mooring ball but it's super rough here. Hopefully the uh, mooring holds, we're putting a lot of weight on it but um, yeah this is meant to be some of the best diving on the island. Well, probably the best diving on the island I think so. Hopefully that sinks. If you're okay make sure you do that back. Don't do that because that means you're going to come up. Make sure you stick with your buddy. When we get down there look for like landmarks and stuff that will identify where the boat is. Everybody's comfortable, everyone's relaxed. Alright, let's go down. We decided to try sail down the canal and anchor the boat under sail without even starting the engines at all. All the lights on, no one home, look! <laughs> we're sailing down a canal into the anchorage at night. 
<laughs> kind of exciting. <laughs> <laughs> kind of stupid. <laughs> it's such a liquor day today. It's been unreal. And when I turn up into the wind, you can drop it. Like it's hot. Everyone was in great spirits after a fun day diving, so a boat party was in order. Stingray City. We're leaving tonight. So before we go, we just want to check this little place out where apparently you can swing with some stingrays. And then we're out of here. Panama. Matt had to go back to the shop to get the squid. It's so crucial. <laughs> I've done so much to have the stingray cut off. <laughs> sister woke up with a massive um, fever this morning. She had 39.7 degrees temperature in Celsius, so it's meant to be about 36.5. So we took her to the emergency room and turns out she has pneumonia. It's a uh, bacterial-based lung infection. It's kind of scary because we're leaving for Panama, which is six days at sea. So if we had already just left and then she got that just after, then we'd be without these sort of facilities for six days. So I'm so glad that this happened now. She's obviously in so much pain. Um, and um, they put her on all sorts of antibiotics and stuff. So they're gonna keep her here for the next few days. And uh, then she'll be able to come back to the boat, hopefully fairly cured so that we can get to Panama for a nice downwind sail. So a bit of an eye-opening experience. Um, but she'll get through it, she's a strong girl. And um, we'll be back on the road in no time. Well, you made it. Yay, no more hospital. City. A little parlay revival. My sister spent our whole Cayman trip in the hospital, but being the strong woman that she is, managed to make a good enough recovery to fulfill her dream of swimming with the infamous stingrays on our last day. Being a doctor though, she decided that it would be best for her to fly to Panama to meet us, rather than come back out into the open ocean for six days. This was a very heavy reminder of the dangers of getting ill at sea. Our time in the Cayman Islands was coming to an end. What made it even more special was having good friends in the country to show us around. The waters surrounding the island were up there in clarity with Belize and the strict rules and regulations had ensured that the reef remained in pristine condition. 